How does the moves that y'all made in free agency not necessarily, I guess, change what you do in the draft? Because I'm sure you have a plan, but how does it solidify what you do in the draft? Well, I mean, the draft is so unpredictable. You've got to kind of protect yourself, and we had the ability to do that. As you're, as you're building depth on this team and you're building competition, it does it gives you the flexibility. Flexibility is probably the best way to put it, where you're not re overreaching out of a need. So a lot of people say best player available, sure, but you know, best player available if you're loaded at tight end, like we feel right now, it's a good chance you're not going to all of a sudden if the board clears. You, you may not if you feel log jammed at a position where you know it may be the highest graded player, and it comes with a caveat where you may pull somebody here, but. What you don't want to do is get desperate where you're pulling a guy that you've got down here and then you, you put him with an eighth pick and then it's probably unfair that player if you trust how you your process and how you grade it. So we feel really good about where we're at heading into Thursday night. You feel good about where you're at and you got to look at it like you're making that pick at eight. Then you have contingency plans and if you want to trade around or you go from that. And that, that's everybody that's kind of, probably everybody's going through those conversations right now leading up to this. But you've got to be prepared to make that pick. So we feel great. Again, it goes back to the depth and certain positions we've added, but the, the quality of players too. There's going to be a very, very competitive camp. Now you're going to have to do, even get into decisions, you know, assuming that you don't have any major injuries, it's going to be a hard roster to make. And that's where you want to be. And that's where we feel really good, again, heading into the draft, heading into the training camp. The last two years of draft guys for you in 21 and 22, a lot of value has been found in like the fifth round. When it comes to kind of the group that y'all have been able to put together over the last two years, what confidence does what they have done in their development give your staff about not just identifying talent, but developing that talent? Well, I think, you, you know, you, you, it's a very thorough process for anybody we bring in here, even in the post draft. And they're not i never about 100%. I mean, there's something that happen happening. Or you get to the point where we're at right now, where this isn't us, you know, being, thinking, you know, we've, we've arrived or accomplished anything, but the numbers are what they are. I mean, the amount of guys we have on our roster now going to the draft than we've had the last couple couple of years. Just some of that out of you know, necessity, where we are with the roster, with the salary cap. It's going to be a hard competition. A hard, you know, it'll be really hard decisions making that 53. And so, when you're trying to bring in, bring guys in here and you want to make sure everybody has, has a fair shot. Whether they're, they're what I like to call an eighth round pick, which is the post draft, or they're a third round pick. If that guy in the eighth round is the best player, I understand the investment in the third round, but then you've got to weigh that. You've got to, you've got to be true to what you what you believe in and, and the best player needs need to play here. And it keeps everybody, you know, motivated and and that competition brings out the best of us. And the other thing is, yeah, just because we hit maybe on a certain area in 21 or 22. It gives you confidence, but you never can get complacent thinking just because, hey, we hit in 21 on a certain spot or 22 that we've got all the answers because you don't. And we're also looking at our process, even our development process, you know, as things change and, and the players we bring in here, uh, you never want to do that. You never want to get arrogant. You never want to get complacent.